So the next tune we're going to do is another Lincoln campaign song. Uh, we will Lincoln. get him elected by golly. <laughs> yes, this one definitely will. Lincoln and Liberty too. And I think Lincoln did, did attribute his election partly to this song. And Martha's going to sing it for us. Again, it's a traditional tune, um, an Irish tune known as Rosin the Bow. Got used for lots of different songs, lots of different words. So it was well known tune and popular at the time. And once again, a good reason to put some Lincoln words to it. Get the man in office. This was for his second election, yes. right? This yes. was the second presidential election. He was involved in other elections, but so it would be. Yes. You wanna start so you know how fast you want it or oh just go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I'll join in. <laughs> Do it. I don't know what would. Go vote for Abe. 
So we're going to change keys here. We have over here on the banjo, we have Dale C. Evans. And Dale, can you tell us a little bit about the five-string banjo? Well, you know, it's really the only stringed instrument to originate in America, uh, you know, in quotes, right? And it originated really uh, in the 1830s. It got the fifth string. Nobody knows if it was this string or this string, but a fifth string onto a traditional African instrument. And uh, it was wildly popular uh, throughout the Civil War era and really up until <laughs> the 1930s, and it almost faded away. The five-string banjo. This is called the American banjo when you go anywhere else. As compared to, as compared to the tenor banjo and several variations in uh, Britain. Uh, but the five-string banjo is the American banjo. It's our national folk instrument. <laughs> and what style are you playing? I'm playing what's called claw hammer. It was called stroke style before the Civil War. Claw hammer because of the way you hold your hand. Um, it's very popular nowadays, in a claw, a claw, yes. And you use your thumb quite a bit on what's called the fifth string or the thumb string, as, as opposed to finger picking uh, the classical or the bluegrass styles. This is a much older style. This was the original way to pl play the five string banjo, claw hammer, or stroke style. <coughs> and what your thumb is kind of is catching. It's up. kind of a drone. Remember the Scotch Irish people took up the banjo, and you, they're used to the drone on the, the, of course, the bagpipes and the fiddle and the mountain dulcimer as Laura was playing. So it, uh, it's the idea of uh, playing a melody against a constant drone. Yeah. It's kind of the engine that drives a band. <laughs> drives them crazy sometimes. But <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind of melodic and rhythmic at the same time. At the time. same time, very, much, very rhythmic. It was a very danceable instrument. But it goes hand in hand with the fiddle. The guitar was a little bit later, but you know, you know, Banjo and the fiddle were, you know, guitar made for each late, other. Late yes. bloomers. <laughs> yeah, late bloomers, right. So uh, you're going to start out this next tune, I think, right? Georgia. I think we'll, so we'll try. Martha, as soon as Martha gets in. Sorry. Okay. Sometimes the fiddle can go into uh, different tunings for different keys, and we're coming out of the key of G, and Martha had one of her strings tuned up there and now has to get it back to play in D. Because so I want a drone too. It's the other way around. She tunes in D, she tunes it up to an okay, uh, uh, bottom string up to an A. I don't know how we're going to do this, but we're going to do it. Right. So Dale's going to start us okay. out. Ready? 